I'm talking about my brother, J.J. Hairston. Justin. What? Can, wait, what does J.J. stand for? Can we say that? I have no <laughs> idea. I just thought about that. I'm like, what does J.J. stand for? <laughs> I am not a junior. I am a third. <laughs> I don't know how they got J.J. It's always been my nickname, and it just stuck. Got you. Yeah, that's but, not his government name, but yeah. No, it's not my yeah. government name. No, I'm, <laughs> what up, I'm James. Bro? Yes. What up, bro? Listen, it's so good to hear from you. Listen, I, I literally was just talking to Tithe and we talked to Michelle, and it's just been so much love today. I want to first talk to you um, about SOAR Radio. You've, you've been hearing about it for some time. You've been, I think, at every award show minus this past year. Um, right. How has it been, even, because we can't talk about, like I said before, SOAR Radio without SOAR Awards. How has it been seeing from the second year to year f- four? How has that, that been? Well, it just blew me away, the growth. I mean, shout out to you and your wife and, and your whole team just doing some amazing things with SOAR Radio. I remember um, the year you honored me, which I was so First blown year. away. I was so humbled. And, you know, Kiera was there. Zicardi was yeah. there. Uh, you and, remember. And, and Don, <laughs> I remember. Yeah. Yeah. And Don, Donisha yeah. was there. Yeah. Um, so it was really dope. I think Ron was a part of the tribute. Yeah, he was. He was. And he wound up singing with me after that. I was like, this guy got to go on the road with me. Donisha <laughs> but, travels uh, with you a lot, too, now. Absolutely. Yeah. Donisha yeah. and Ron. And I got in, I got fully introduced to, to them at the Soul Radio Awards. So both because... of them, Ron and Donisha, if you're listening, you owe me at least a tithe <laughs> of when you <laughs> go next on the road with him. Don, I'm... Donisha and Ron, somebody tag him to this. <laughs> so true, because I mean, I, I had seen them, but that day I could I could hear them as a part of what I'm doing was why we connected. But to see you grow from there to um, the last year um, where you had Tasha Cobbs Leonard and um, I, I saw some people, Apostle Matthew Stevenson was there. It, you've just done so many great things. And what I respect the most is that you honor people that we you normally wouldn't see at other award shows. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I'm just, I'm so proud of what you're doing, even down to just saw radio, period. The fact that you started, you had a vision in your head and God helped you to birth it. And it was something that hadn't been done before because you didn't have an internet radio station yeah. that was an actual BDS station. Mm-hmm. So just, I'm so proud of what you're doing and what you've been able to accomplish. And I'm excited that you're going to keep it going. Got you, man. It's, it means everything too. that. Once again, I've, it, it literally feels like family union. The people I've talked to in here, I'm not just saying it cause they're on the line, but you've always been integral. You've been me and my wife, both you and your wife have been supportive to us. You've been there Absolutely. anytime we called and text, even beyond music and ministry, Absolutely. you know, you've been a friend and it, it's, it's rare in this business that you sometimes come across people that are just genuinely kind. I said this about Todd a few minutes ago and I, I piggyback this with you and everybody that I, that have came across you says the same thing that you just are cool you're chill you speak to everybody you're what what comes from that because you know there's a lot of gospel artists and 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 artists as a whole that aren't as friendly or that aren't as warm what what what, is that just who you are or that's something i I think i i I really believe i i think for those who are mega talented um their talent winds up you know really getting to the head yeah and they believe they believe their press release for me i realized that everything that we received every accolade every chart position all that stuff is no goodness of our own because i firmly believe there are many singers there are many writers artists that we may never hear of yeah. and it's only because of the favor and the grace of god that we're in the position we're in and the moment that we allow our gift and our talent to dictate our personality, then one thing is going to have to fall. And I believe that your gift will stand, but your personality may not be able to keep it where it needs to be. And so you may be gifted and talented and in a, in a space where God can't trust you to be exalted. So I believe that as long as I keep my face to the ground, he'll keep lifting me up. The moment I allow my head to get too lifted, that he's got to bring me down. And can't nobody humble you like God can. So I would rather humble myself yes. than to let God humble me. Well, listen, we've been blowing up Excess Love. That's the wow. new record. What else do you have? Uh, what, what's to come? We know you you and your wife are pastoring now. What's yeah. or, And is there something you haven't done that you, you want to venture in? 
I know the pandemic well, is kind of slowing everything up right now. <laughs> I mean, it's slowing everything down. But what's crazy is, um, I you know, I don't write often. I don't I, I don't tell everybody that, but okay. I don't write a lot. It has to be either a season um, where it's time to record or there's something that will jolt me and put me in a place of writing music. And I, it was funny. I was talking to Rich Talbot Jr. Mm-hmm. And he was um, testifying to me about what made him what made him write miracle worker and start working on miracle worker and it's funny he had he said something that the doctors told him and i told him we refused to believe the doctor's report yes and it made it 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 jolted me and i wrote a song and i feel like i got to record and put it out right now because so many people now are agreeing and are coming into alignment with what the reports say. Yeah. I mean, even the report, even the report about coronavirus, they're saying um, 200,000 people are gonna die. And we, as the body of Christ, have started to accept yeah. what the reports say. And we may listen and we may heed to what they say we should do and heed to the guidelines, but we disagree with the report. That's good. So I feel like there's a song that needs to be birthed that again, put the body of Christ at a place of faith and conviction and declaration as opposed to acceptance of what the world is saying. Well, bro, thank you so much for talking to us. We love you. We love your wife. We love that huge home that you just, God blessed you with. Oh, Um, praise God. It's all him. (laughs) We celebrate. You know, this is, this is crazy. I just got off with Todd from one mansion to the next. uh, Oh, listen, (laughs) no, we got, we got a, we got a place that, that that's suitable for what we do. That's all it is. All is good. Well, tell everybody how they can get connected with you social media. I'm on Instagram at JJ Hairston. Um, of course, we have.